Here we go. Anthony Hartwig here with a, another fall sports preview. We're joined by the head coach of the volleyball team down in Lisbon, Dana Blackburn. Coach, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Thanks for having me, Anthony. Let's talk about this team, and we'll start with kind of what you think um, you want, especially the returning players from last year, to kind of take in and bring from everything they got from last year's team and last year's season and what you think some lessons need to be learned coming through this summer and into this year. Well, uh, the two seniors and the um, two of the juniors, um, you know, they have experience uh, from playing on the varsity last year. Um, We have a lot of new new players um, coming in. Uh, a lot of those girls, though, played in the off season, um, you know, with some travel ball, and most of them had some great coaching. So, you know, we're pretty fortunate that we have a team that has been playing all year. Let's talk about meet the team, right? We we like to have the coaches break down the roster and give us the big names that we'll be seeing all season, and maybe some new names that we need to be aware of too. Uh, I have two returning seniors, um, Cheyenne Nez and Isabella Landon. Um, both one an outside and a middle hitter. Um, both of them are just rocking the ball. Uh, two, two returning juniors, um, Madeline Marshalik and Stephanie Stacy. Um, you know, two juniors that played together on a, on a off season team and, um, they work real well together. Um, Maddie is just crushing the ball from, from every angle and every position, um, Stephanie, she's got the most lethal hands, I believe in Columbiana County. And I've, you know, I've known her since the seventh grade. So, um, she's got the goods and I do believe she's got the best hands in the County. Now let's talk about, uh, leadership. I love learning about the leaders on the team. So, you know, you've been with them for a while. Who do you, who do you see stepping up as vocal leaders on the court? People you can trust is kind of your second coach out there. Um, Maddie, Maddie Marshalik, um, Abby Amen. Um, she's also, you know, new, a new income, um, incoming, uh, junior. She's, um, she's served 39 straight impressive points, um, uh, Monday night against Heartland Christian. Um, she's a phenomenal leader. She's a wonderful young lady. She's good to everybody everywhere. And she's exceptional in the gym. Um, you know, Maddie Marshalik and, and Stephanie Stacy. Um, have shown great leadership since we started in May. And, you know, our, our seniors, um, you know, they they help the youngers and everybody works together for the benefit. I want to talk about your schedule. First, we'll start with the conference EOAC. Very tough, like it always is. Um, what do you expect out of the conference this year? And how do you think Lisbon can, can, can make some waves inside the league? Um, everybody in our, you know, our small little league is – is uh, brilliant. And, you know, you can't leave anybody out. You can't leave Palestine out. You can't leave Columbiana. You can't leave United or, um, or, you know, definitely Wellsville. So it's, you just have to compete and you have to hang in and you have to be tough. And it's, you know, it's going to be ball for ball and, and all of those games and we know it. And, you know, I think we're ready. Um, you know, I've, I have two, um, two freshmen um, that have just stepped up and have played great. Um, Addison Anderson and Elena Householder, um, you know, they they never falter when it comes to the competitiveness of a, volley, of a varsity of a varsity scrimmage or a game. Um, I have a sophomore in the back rows, Libero Hannah Davis. Um, you know, she's, she's the best passer and, uh, you know, I have Diamond Bailey and um, Gianna Leininger. Both can play all around. They both can pass. They both they both can hit, and they're they're great servers. So, but when it comes to that, we every every single you know team in our league, we have to be ready to compete at the highest level. And then when we talk about the teams that pop up outside of the EOAC that are there to kind of get you ready for the conference and also get you ready for the tournament. Um, who are some teams that pop up that you're really excited about? Well, uh, we are also a member of the OVAC, so we are going to be playing some teams down the river. Um, soon. Soonville, Bridgeport, uh, Toronto, Soonville Catholic Central. Uh, so 
you know, we're, we're, we have to go down the river, something that we're not used to. We're going to be playing a bunch of new teams and I guess we'll find out when we get there. Um, but you know, this season we started off Monday with a five game battle against Heartland Christian. They are extremely disciplined. They work hard. Um, so, you know, look out for Heartland Christian. Um, you know, we, we nip into Mahoning County and Trouble County a little bit with, um, with Liberty. Uh, they're on our schedule this season. Um, we, you know, Urban Academy and, of course, you know, Valley Christians in our, you know, but those are, you know, those are North games that, you know, sometimes we haven't really been used to and used to the schools. So it, it's nice to play, you know, North and South, East and West. It just makes, it's just only make us better. Are you excited about this new venture into the OVAC? And like you said, seeing a lot of teams that you're not used to seeing. Well, you know, for a long time, my husband, you know, worked coal. So we live down the river um, on the backside of St. Clairsville. So I'm very familiar with the area, very familiar with those teams. Um, but, you know, it's, it's exciting to get to go, you know, get to go down the river and, and, and dip into a, a, a new, um, a, you know, a new league that is foreign to us. So you don't know what you're getting. You know, usually this early, we don't ask about tournament time because we have a lot of volleyball to play. But because of the expansion in every sport not named football, uh, the, the landscape of the tournament has completely changed. So I want to ask you about kind of what that does for Lisbon and, and what kind of doors you think it opens for volleyball in the area to see seven divisions now instead of four. Uh, we actually set a goal um, when we first all met together in May. And, you know, we said, hey. Now that we know that there's new aligning coming, let's let's aim really high. Because if you know if you don't have a if you don't have a high goal um, to reach all year, you know what's the sense? But we we said elite eight. Now that we have you know we're, we're our divisions are realigned, that that gives small schools very much an opportunity to get a lot further in a tournament than we had had been. That's got to be really exciting uh, for, for a coach uh, of a small school like Lisbon. Um, I also want to talk about your staff. We always like to give the coach a chance to highlight the people they're working with. And I know you don't do it alone. You're getting the interviews. But um, there's a lot of people behind you making sure this Lisbon program is, is turning. So talk about the people working with you and the people that you couldn't you know make this program what it is without. Well, let me start by saying, you know, I, I'm very fortunate that I have um, – uh, a lot of support from uh, our high school um, administration and our board of education and our Lisbon community has been fantastic. Um, you know, supporting our girls with different things that they need. And we um, were, I'm very, also very fortunate that I get to coach with my, with my daughter, uh, Peyton Blackburn. She's my assistant coach. Um, I could not imagine this journey without her. And I'm also uh, coaching with Abby Bramer. Um, she's, you know, she's a Lisbon graduate, um, loves Lisbon. She's always, you know, worked in the basketball, on the basketball side um, in the youth program. Um, I think she's a, a great addition to our program. Um, my junior high coaches, uh, you know, we're all new this year. So this was, it, there's been a lot of chaos because, you know, everybody is new in the program. But I could not have done it without um, Casey Pansrack and Lauren Porter. They're down at the junior high. They're, you know, they're two, they're two older moms. And I've actually met them 10 years ago coaching at Sebring. They just happened to be married to Lisbon guys. So, um, you know, they were a perfect fit in our junior high program. Got to ask you about coaching with your daughter. I mean, elaborate a little bit more on that, what that means to you, what that opportunity means to you. And, you know, there's a long season ahead. So what's it going to be like to kind of go through the roller coaster of a whole high school season with, with her by your side? Well, you know, in the first game, she told me to sit down about 400 times that I was standing in her way. Um, but uh, she understands the expectation that I have because, you know, she was raised in a home with two parents that were extremely sports inclined and, you know, we had a passion and accountability and work ethic. And, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate that I get to coach with her and she has those qualities, but she also has those qualities in her career. Um, we work um, Columbia County Head Start. Um, she's a teacher. She's a leader, you know, 
and it's it's a gift that I get to do this with her. Coach, we want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come on and talk with us and preview Lisbon volleyball. We're excited for the season. We know Rick Daly is excited for the season. He's already called your your awesome five th- five set thriller on YSN. He'll be calling all your home games. So we thank you for your time, and we'll we'll see you down the road. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much, Anthony, and um, can't wait to talk to you guys maybe in the middle of the season or at the end of the season. You got Thanks it. Thanks so Coach. much.